According to Wikipedia, Chip and Dale, the 1947 short, um, is the first time that Chip and Dale as characters were first distinguishable from each other, which makes me feel so much better because when I was watching things like Squatter's Rights, I, I think I mentioned in that discussion, I still can't tell the difference between the two. I'm so relieved to know that some of the earlier shorts that involved them didn't make it possible to tell the difference, basically making them the same animation. Chip and Dale, the 1947, um, is not only the first time that there's a distinguishable, distinguishable difference between them, but it's also the first time that they are in a short with Donald Duck. And there are many shorts with Donald hereafter, where Chip and Dale really wind up Donald and Donald really gets in their way. This one being the inaugural short for that, I think it's pretty great. It's a pretty, pretty standard narrative that starts out quite scary. They're inside a tree, um, Donald chops down this tree with the intention of putting it in the fire for firewood. Needless to say, it's a good job Chip and Dale managed to get out of that when they heard him coming, otherwise that would have been a very disastrous, very short short. And as this progresses, they are trying to gather up their nuts for the winter while Donald Duck is trying to continue um, setting up the cabin and making it all quite cosy and warm. But then he realises that the chipmunks are also trying to extinguish this fire and they go back and forth and basically just start fighting with each other um will chip and dale win this fight or will donald get the last laugh i'm not going to say what happens but i enjoyed it um the final image we have of donald is pretty funny i have to say i thought it was a bit weird but i thought it was great in terms of the animation i really liked it um I really like Chip and Dale. I like how passionate they are about the tree they lived in. It's not just a random tree. It is their home and they want it back. Donald, in their eyes, did not have the right to take it. Um, it's definitely clear. You can tell Chip and Dale are very different personalities. One is very... They remind me of Pinky and the Brain. Put it that way. One is um, definitely a, a natural born leader. The other one maybe doesn't follow instructions clearly or doesn't understand things all of the way. And I think that that's pretty good to have kind of distinguishable personalities as it gives them clear character traits that can kind of drive certain narratives in certain ways. For example, Chip may know what they're doing, Dale may completely just ruin the plan and it causes a lot of hilarity. Uh, for Donald, while Chip gets increasingly frustrated, I think I've got that the right way around. Chip is the clever one, Dale is the one that's a little bit slow to follow instructions, I hope. Either way, Chip and Dale, absolutely delightful. It was um, actually nominated for the Academy Award for Best Short Film in 1948, um, as was the other Disney film Pluto's Blue Note, which I like a lot more than this. And that's really unusual that I prefer a Pluto film to a Donald film. Not the biggest Pluto fan, but Pluto, Pluto's Blue Note is, is a lot of fun. Um, but the film Tweety Pie actually won that year. But Chippendale, definitely worth watching if you're a fan of the Chipmunks or if you like Donald Duck. I think it's one you'll really enjoy.